The coal arrives at the power plant and is unloaded into a storage area. When needed, it's moved by conveyor belt from the storage area to bunkers in the plant. Bunkers typically hold enough coal to fuel the power plant for approximately half a day. From the bunkers, the coal is fed into mills that pulverize it into a very fine powder. The pulverized coal is mixed with hot air and blown into the boiler. Inside the boiler, burners ignite the coal and air mixture to achieve complete combustion and create the maximum amount of heat possible. Coal combustion residue called bottom ash collects in the bottom of the boiler. This ash can be sent to a landfill, but is often sold as material for roadway construction. The intense boiler heat turns water in tubes into steam that can reach up to 1,100 degrees Fahrenheit. Heating the water also causes it to expand and increases the pressure in the pipes up to 3,700 pounds per square inch. The steam passes through four turbines before it is turned back into water and used again. The steam first is piped to a high-pressure turbine and then is returned to the boiler to be reheated. It then is piped to an intermediate-pressure turbine and finally to two low-pressure turbines. The steam blasts into each turbine, turning blades that are attached to a single shaft. The turning shaft continues into the adjacent electrical generator. As the shaft rotates, it turns electromagnets within a series of wire coils to produce electricity. The electricity from the generator passes through a step-up transformer where its voltage is increased. It then travels through the power lines that carry it to homes and businesses.